Hi folks, uh, I am back and this is episode two in, of Fortnite in five, where I'm going to try to take people through the basics of Fortnite creative. The series is geared towards anybody who's new to Fortnite uh, creative, but also um, certainly for students and educators. Uh, I'm an educator, very interested in game-based learning and helping students and teachers see how they can use games effectively in the classroom. Uh, I teach game design and development. So for me, using sandbox tools like Fortnite Creative and Minecraft have been incredible. But you can also realize so many other ways that you can use uh, Fortnite in the classroom. In fact, in the show notes, um, what I'll do is I'll link to some lesson plans that cover a wide variety of, uh, of content areas that you could. So if you remember in the last episode, we created our island. I'm going to go back in, actually going into a more flat island um, for this one. In fact, if you're just creating an island and want to get started with what we're doing today with prefabs and things, I think a flat island will serve you better. But in this episode, we're going to get into prefabs. So I'm going to hit I for my inventory, and I'm in the prefab window right now. And if you notice, um, prefabs are basically like full structures that we can bring right into the game. And there are a whole variety of them. Like I can bring in um, Craggy Cliffs Sticks Restaurant. We might want a restaurant or Craggy Cliffs Bait and Tackle. Maybe we'll go with that for now. So if I choose that, I can hit Equip. And now I can bring that building in. I can also double click on this and see um, individual elements that are part of that. So I can bring them in individually if I like. Like if I want to bring in this um, window part, part, I can bring that in. So we are going to go into the game. Now, in my hotbar right now, because I have my camera out, if I hit the tilde, that toggles between having my camera out, which is what you use to work in creative, um, that net versus having it, you know, so here it is. I'm, I have my camera available for me to do creative stuff. Now I don't. And I like to give a quick overview also of just movement in Fortnite because uh, if you're not so used to Fortnite and you're really just starting you, if you're playing on with a uh, computer a keyboard and mouse you're going to move around with W A S and D which is pretty typical for first and third person shooter games but again if you're not accustomed I want to make sure you get that so think of them like your arrow keys okay if you're on a using an Xbox controller the controls are different um, you can always go into the settings sorry, or keyboard to see all the different key bindings and even change them or the controller and just see what the different um you know how the the different um thumbsticks and things what they do uh but i'll leave some of that to you but also the mouse in this case is like your eyes to look around and choose your direction and your hands so like in other words if i was to want to break things i can break them with my axe right now in a moment when I place things, I'll use the left button also. So now here we go. I'm gonna go back to my camera. I'm gonna place a keep in my build, in my island right now. And I'm just looking for where I wanna place it with the silhouette like that. See, that shows where it's gonna be placed. And boom, I just left clicked and there it is. So here is the full building that I just placed in my island. Also now place, let's say, the boathouse that we had selected. So again, I'm going to go in and I'm going to place the boathouse somewhere on my island where it seems logical. And there's that whole boathouse. Now, if I want to put a boat near the boathouse, it would probably make sense to put the boathouse near the water, which you can certainly do. Um, in this case, we've got to carry our stuff from the boathouse to the water. But I'm going to place a boat here and there we have a boat okay now notice that in this case i probably wanted to place it a little bit lower because there's that little bit showing up um it doesn't matter so much we can imagine that it's meant to be that way and whatnot but just to see the prefabs have all of these things already in them so this has you know a lot of stuff that we can use and later we'll get into how you can copy and paste and use these elements elsewhere in your island as well. So thanks for watching. 
and um, do subscribe and like the video if you would. Um, subscribing, of course, will keep you in the loop when new videos are posted. So thanks again.